Hello guys, and welcome back to another Mesozoic update. So, it's been a little while again. Uh, this time it's not really something I can help. It's just due to amounts of content that I have available to actually upload. So, uh, let's get right into these episodes then. Uh, first off, I do want to bring up this right here. Now, it they have a case unlock. They did this in the past where at a certain amount of likes, they would then open this case and show us a different part of the game that they were working on that was previously uh, not shown to us. Uh, the first one you can see, the third well, it was the, really the third one, but the first one that was opened was a T-Rex animation. It's on their Facebook, which is working now. I don't know what was going on with my uh, computer when I was trying to load and when I was saying it wasn't loading, but it is working now, so that's good. Uh, Mezzoka did reply to me on that video and sh sent me a link that worked, uh, and it seemed like after that it started working again, so I don't really know what happened there. But uh, they're, right now they're shooting for 700 likes, they're currently at 593, so they only really need 100 more likes. So if you guys watch my video and then head over there and like their, uh, like their post, then we will see what they had in this case. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously you can see they have the Steam logo down at the bottom. So I'm assuming that, I mean, I know they already have the green light, but I'm guessing that they're getting ready to then release on Steam fairly soon if they're putting the logo on their posts now. Uh, also, you can see here that there looks to be a new type of skin that we really haven't seen before. It's a winter background, and it's clearly a dinosaur, just based on, you know, obviously the uh, anatomy of the creature that we're seeing. But it's kind of hard to tell what it is. But it definitely looks very cool with how they've done a ice pattern. Uh, looks to me like maybe this one was, you know, this one is definitely more out there in terms of uh, skin design. So people who want a more realistic experience probably won't choose this skin. But nonetheless, it's a very cool looking skin, even from an aerial view. And obviously, all the rest of the background looks pretty good too. Uh, next up, Mesozoica released a new Dimetrodon skin. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, relatively towards other Dimetrodons that they've released. It's fairly bland, but that's also probably more realistic for people who want to play it that way. Uh, the only real eye catcher on it, besides the fine detail on the body, is the bright yellow dots, which I think are pretty cool. I like the design. And then lastly, Mesozoica was talking about their modular design system in this post, and you can really see that all these pieces were placed individually. The uh, viewing glasses, the lamp posts, the chairs with all the tables, all of that was individually placed. So they're really going for their modular idea, which I like. I think it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today's episode, guys. Uh, remember, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully, there'll be more Mesozoic content to release within the next few within the next week, so that there's more for me to upload. Uh, I will be pre up pre-recording some videos, so in case this happens again, I can just upload it really quick and not have to worry about it. But those will come out some point later in the week, or maybe not this week, since you know this will be the weekly upload, but next week or the week after that. So once again, thank you for watching, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.